You know, if you're tailgating or if you have a bunch of people over for a party, like a football game, the big game perhaps, chicken skewers are a really fun way to change it up, do something very simple. But I mean, Ethan, look at this. This doesn't look simple. I mean, this is fantastic. In this episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to make pineapple lime chicken skewers. A little spicy, a little simple, a lot of delicious. Let me show you how I like to do it. Mm -hmm. I wanna start with my marinade and my glaze. I've got some limes. I'm gonna do three, depending on how much you're doing. Uh, you want a decent amount of lime juice. I mean, lime juice really is gonna carry most of the flavor in the dish. Then I'm gonna add a bit of pineapple juice. Now this has acidity, but also the sweetness is a bit greater than the lime. I'm gonna add some garlic paste. Uh, you could do fresh garlic if you wanted to. I feel like the paste mixes in a little nicer. Then I've got some red pepper flakes, red chili flakes if you want some heat, which I am definitely a fan of. Then some smoked paprika. Don't skip this one. I really, really like smoked paprika. Then some blackstone citrus garlic mojo, taking that flavor through the roof. Don't forget to add some cilantro and then a bit of honey and a decent amount of oil. Uh, so this is again, the, this is gonna be our marinade and it's gonna be our glaze, probably even our sauce at the end. Uh, give that a good mix. Now I've got some diced up, well, not diced, like kind of like chopped up, roughly chopped up chicken thighs. You can't really dice a chicken thigh, uh, but you do have these small little pieces. When you add the sauce, it's gonna mix into all of those nooks and crannies. Uh, once it's all mixed in, you could do this in a Ziploc bag if you wanted to, throw it in the fridge for at least an hour before making your skewers. Once your chicken has had a chance to marinate, let's go ahead and get to our skewers. Make sure you glove up and put all of these beautiful pieces. You kind of have to bend and fold, almost like CJ's bend and snap. Don't, hey, wrong show, he was looking at me. Uh, fold them in half and kind of crimp them a little bit. You want the chicken to stay nice and tight on the skewer. And the nice thing about marinating this is if you just, if you didn't marinate it, right? Or if you're doing chicken breasts, the inside pieces that are touching the other chicken, they're not gonna get any seasoning, right? But since we marinated, every little inch, even the pieces on the inside that don't get full caramelization are still gonna be really delicious and really, really wonderful. So pack them tight. Pack them like beautiful little little chicken skewers. Get your Blackstone to medium low heat. Now, typically if you watch my show, I like to go fast and furious, I go super hot. Medium low is gonna ensure that the chicken will get that crust, but that it's fully cooked. We want fully cooked chicken. While the chicken is cooking, I wanna add one more thing to our little marinade glaze action because I want it to kind of pickle. I got some red chilies, slice them up nice and thin, add them into that sauce so the lime and the pineapple start to penetrate into those peppers so when we garnish later, it's gonna be delicious. Now rotate your chicken often. Keep turning them. You can move them to new spots of the griddle. Uh, you do wanna see some caramelization, but you wanna ensure the chicken is fully cooked. Now once it's fully cooked, we're going back to that marinade and we're gonna start just dousing, right? Literally use a brush, get it on all the nooks and crannies, rotate them, cook them for a minute or two, rotate them, put more of the glaze, rotate them, cook them. Like this is like another five or six minutes at this part, uh, just to make sure that glaze starts to tack up the honey, the lime, the pineapple, all those wonderful flavors are really sticking into every single little beautiful nook and cranny of your chicken skewer. To plate, I just like to stack them up and take whatever's left over and those beautiful red chilies right over the top. The herbs are green, the chilies are red, the, the it's Christmas, the chickens, I don't know. The sauce is saucy. The sauce is saucy. It's, all, it's doing all the, the right things. Before I take a bite, if you wanted to because do the CJ, CJ special, a little post dust, a little extra seasoning, never hurt anybody. It's kind of a fun, fun little thing you could do. Uh, now again, you could load the griddle up, do a ton of these. If you don't like the heat, skip the chilies, but mm, I'm a fan. They're sweet, they're savory. They have all the things, right? Also pineapple juice, that's a miracle marinade. It, it does the job really quick. It tenderizes and it flavors, unbelievably delicious. I'm talking with my mouthful, sorry, Ethan. Thank you all so much for hanging out. If you have not yet, click the subscribe button down below and leave a comment. Should we do more skewers? Oh, the smoked paprika starts to come through at the end. So, so good. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out. This is Cook, Eat, Repeat. I'm talking about mouthful. I'm so rude. So rude. Sorry, Andy. He has a name on our show. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> thank you guys for hanging out. This is Cook, Eat, Repeat. We'd like to help you become a better cook one recipe at a time. I'm your host, Chef Nathan Lippi, and I'll see you all in the next episode.